For many years, the human race has wondered who we are, where have we come from, where are we going, and what does the human body really consist of. Today I want to talk about the topic of electricity, the energy within. Let's bring up the very basic fundamentals of electricity. You have a positive, you have negative, and you have ground. I'm pretty sure we all can agree that if we were to stick our hand into an electrical socket that we would shock ourselves. If there was not some source of electricity flowing through our body, this would not be possible. The same as if we popped our hoods on our cars and put one hand on the positive on our battery and the other hand on the negative, that would be a horrible, horrible reaction with doing that. That's another instance of electricity flowing through our body. There has also been scientific statistics showing where human beings have bumped elbows or rubbed shoulders and caused static electricity, passing it from one to another and shocking each other. I myself have personally experienced it. In order for a television or anything with a power source to turn on and work properly, you would have to plug it in and you would have to turn it on. But we're functioning without us being plugged up to anything. I analyzed this very deeply and I asked myself, what is it that we all are connected to? Why is it that we are connected to whatever it is that we are connected to? And if this energy exists within us, is there a greater purpose for the energy that we have existing within us? And if so, what is the proper way to utilize this energy? We have different situations, obstacles vices that are thrown to us on a day-to-day -day basis in life. We call them positives. We call them negatives. But within these positives and negatives, applying the same concept of energy, if you're grounded, and when I speak of grounded, I won't speak religiously or go real deeply with you all about religion context. When I say grounded, I mean balanced within yourself. Keep this energy harmonious in order to function properly within these situations. We also have to be aware of what frequencies we're tuning into. I will give you an example. If we were to turn on our radio, depending on what song, what genre of music we are listening to, it would make us go through a roller coaster ride of emotions and frequencies by tuning in to different radio stations. We even use the term tuning into. 
I vibe with this person. I vibe with this type of music. All signifying frequencies, electricity, energy that exists within us. We all may have friends, family, relatives that when we get around them we feel a certain type of energy. Some of them make us happy. Some of them make us sad. But we feel these different type of emotions and we feel it with the energy. Someone may say, I don't like that person's vibe. When we go into a club environment, once again with the music, and the environment is controlled by the DJ, which is playing different types of music. Everyone is pretty much on the same page when it comes to these songs and this music because we all are on these frequencies depending on the environments we're in. Depending on the amount of money we may have. It gives us energy. We give energy for it. This electricity, which is deeply rooted within us, is for a greater purpose, I believe. We go outside, we look up, we see one of the biggest, strongest, undeniable forces of energy, which gives us all energy. Pretty sure we all can agree upon this one thing, the sun. Is it the sun we're connected to? Is the sun, the energy, the electrical energy, the manifestation of who we are? Are we connected to it? Is it connected to us? How is it connected to us? It gives life or energy to plants, animals. When we eat, depending on our, on our diets, we're eating to get energy. If we don't eat, we feel tired, wore out, down. If we don't drink water, we don't have energy. It fuels us. All of these things coexist within the universe. We are connected to something greater than us. Some will argue, well, religion teaches us that. But what is the great purpose? What does all this mean if we are beings of energy? Why is it not commonly spoken about? Why does it go so unnoticed? This is a great question we have to ask ourselves when the topic of who we are, where do we come from, and where are we going? comes into our minds. We have to analyze it deeply and realize that we are beings of energy, electrical beings. And this electrical concept plays a big part in our everyday lives. 
down from the thoughts we think, the way we speak. We speak things horribly or happily into existence. With the energy we have and manifest as human beings. 